Just look at these temperatures. It is just brutal out there. It's below zero with wind chills dropping much lower. The lake effect snow is still coming down hard tonight, and once it hits the ground, it just starts blowing around. Nearly every school in West Michigan is closed tomorrow. More than 650 closings right now. That full list is on the bottom of your screen. Storm Team 8 has been warning us about this weather for a week. Tonight, that's where we begin our team coverage. Live from the 24-hour tracking center, this is a winter weather alert. Well, snow continues to come down over much of the area. If you're in Van Buren, Allegan, Ottawa, Muskegon County, uh, Kent, and Barry County, we've had the snow steadily this evening. And a few spots have picked up several inches just this evening with several more inches to go later tonight and early tomorrow. The snow is coming off Lake Michigan. And again, the uh, most snow is coming off the fattest part of the lake here into parts of Ottawa County, western Kent County, western Barry County, and then down toward Van Buren County and Benton Harbor. And again, in this area, certainly all of the roads snow covered and slippery. Snow tapers off off as you head off toward the east and southeast. Uh, this is the snow that we expect here through the night and into the early morning tomorrow. I think we can pick up a couple of inches in Grand Rapids. A few spots there in Allegan and Ottawa County could see as much as four to five inches of snow fall overnight. Temperature is the big story. Boy, it's cold out there. Zero in Grand Rapids, zero in Holland, minus one Muskegon. As you get off to the northeast, east, and south of Grand Rapids, it's much colder. Why is it colder to the south? Well, because the wind's not coming across Lake Michigan. The wind is actually curling around and coming up out of Indiana. And look at those temperatures. Minus 17 in Sturgis, where they've been all night. Minus 16 in Jackson. Minus 14 at Coldwater. Factor in the wind, then you've got wind chill temperatures uh, right around 40 below zero there in the southeastern counties. Not quite as bad in Grand Rapids. We are at minus 18, but these cold wind chills are going to linger through the rest of the night and during the day tomorrow. Uh, we have the wind chill warning that continues in effect for everybody. That is right on through the day tomorrow. Well, Kyle's been out in those cold wind chills. What's it doing out there now? Well, it's a little unpleasant if you're not uh, getting the blood pumping a little bit. But if you have the Eskimo jacket, long johns, and good gloves on, maybe a hat, you're in pretty good shape. You just don't want to spend an extended period of time outside. Now, here in Grand Rapids, we're actually a little bit luckier. Kalamazoo, Battle Creek, bigger city, same applies to you. With all the bigger buildings around, uh, that knocks down a lot of the wind. But you get out in the countryside, those winds are really whipping. We're talking about the continued problem of uh, drifting over roadways tomorrow, reduced visibility overnight tomorrow. So this is not over by any stretch. In fact, it may get a little bit colder feeling before it gets warmer. I put together a Futurecast computer model of what we're expecting for wind chill forecast temps overnight tonight. Uh, Bill pointed out the coldest air is sneaking around the bottom side of the lake, and so you can see those wind chill forecast temps when we put this in motion overnight. They will be the coldest for Sturgis, cold water, Battle Creek, Kalamazoo. We're about 5 to 10 degrees warmer in terms of feels like temperatures tomorrow at 7 a.m. for Grand Rapids. Um, Muskegon even warmer than that right by the lakeshore and uh, minus 20 to 25 for most of north central Michigan. Now into the afternoon, finally a break on the way. We start to warm up a little bit. Wind chill temperatures will finally relax into the mid-teens and single digits below zero. So strange to use the word warm when we're talking about weather like this, but we do have above freezing temperatures coming up in the eight-day forecast in a few minutes. If you follow Danny Carlson on Twitter, this is what you saw tonight. The temperature falling on her in-car thermometer as she headed to one of the coldest spots in West Michigan, Kalamazoo. She's joining us live to show us what it looks there right now. Danny. Yeah, and those temperatures actually look warm compared to how it feels right now with the wind chill, about negative 35 at last check. And we've been out here for about two minutes before our live shot, and I can tell you my face is already feeling it, and it's actually painful if you breathe in this weather. Now, you can see we're in Kalamazoo. We are on Main Street right now. Pretty much looks like a ghost town. That's pretty much how it's looked all night that we have been down here, people taking warnings very seriously. You can see there's still a lot of falling snow, a lot of blowing snow, and obviously very cold. We are in one of the coldest places in West Michigan right now. Now, it is like this all over. Indiana even closed down a highway. So we wanted to know, will that happen here in Michigan? Now, as bad as it is, I was talking to some people at MDOT today, and they said the short answer, probably not, because as bad as it is right now, we would probably need a lot more snow before MDOT seriously thought about closing down a highway. And it would also take a lot of work to do something like that. Yeah, that's the tough thing about shutting down a highway. You have to have someone manned at every single interchange so people don't get on. Because if they don't know it's shut down or if they don't see a sign, 
um, then they'll, they'll get on just not knowing it's shut down. So um, you either have to have a huge sign at every single ramp or you have to have MSP at the ramp as well telling people that it's shut down. So um, it'll, it would take a lot for, for Michigan to shut down their roads. And the last time MDOT had to do something like that was in 1978. The snow totals were a lot higher in the blizzard of that year. MDOT telling us that they are able to stay on top of the snow right now with the falling plows. Now, as I mentioned, we've been out here for just a couple minutes right now. Face starting to hurt. We actually put out a cup of water. Within five minutes, it got a, a sheen of ice across the top. And it's been out here for more than an hour right now. You can see that it's pretty much frozen solid. So when you are outside, you're going to want to cover up as much of yourself as you can. And guys, I was trying to come up with some good news, try to find a place that's colder than where we are right now. And unfortunately, according to the National Weather Service, I actually looked it up, Antarctica with wind chills, negative 27 right now. A little bit warmer than here in Kalamazoo at a negative 35. Live in Kalamazoo tonight, Danny Carlson, 24-Hour News 8.